Hi, Julie here with PaperBeatCrafts.com and today I'm going to talk about our new adjustable length paper bead rollers. They are available on Amazon.com as well as PaperBeatCrafts.com and our store at Etsy.com. Just go to PaperBeatCrafts.com and go ahead and look for the adjustable length paper bead rollers. You'll find them right on the front page and just follow the links from there. Okay. When you do order them, the, you'll, when you get them, they'll arrive in a box like this. It'll actually be shrink wrapped too, uh, but I'm not, I don't have it shrink wrapped here in this video. And uh, on the front, you'll see the picture and the sizes. On the back will be the barcode and other information. And it'll come in a box like this. When you open the box, it'll be wrapped up in tissue paper. And let me pull out the ones that are not wrapped up. And you're going to get five different sizes along with a set of instructions on how to use these. Uh, these are used a little bit different from the regular split pin paper bead rollers that I have on the site. Those are being disconnect discontinued. Um, in, and these are being are used are going to be used to replace those. Okay, so here's the instructions. Um, glazing the beads, just nor you use them, you know, you make your beads, you glaze them as you normally would. If you're in, into making paper beads already, um, you'll pretty much know how to roll the beads anyway. And But these are used a little bit differently than other paper bead rollers, and let me show you how. Okay, first off, you're going to get the five different sizes. There is a... 3 sixteenths, which is what I use for Pandora or European style large hole beads. And this makes a 3 sixteenths inch hole. Once the uh, beads are glazed, the hole actually ends up being slightly smaller. And what makes these so great is this pulls out to about 3 inches, give or take. Um, one thing about these is I do my best to make sure that every single one of them are exactly the same, but since they are handmade, uh, some, of the, some of this might be, uh, the, the whole length may be slightly longer or slightly less than 3 inches when pulled all the way out, but it's about 3 inches. And pushed all the way in, it could, be, it could range from an inch to an inch and a quarter maybe even slightly longer. Like, like I said, these are handmade. And uh, I make every single one of them. Paul helps me a little bit, my husband. Um, and these are made with the si same cotter pin wire as the regular split pin paper bead rollers that come in two sizes or two lengths, inch and a quarter and, th and two and three quarters inches. Uh, but these pull out all the way up to three inches or give or take. And these have a permanent um, split down the middle, a little gap, and that's because there's a wire down in between that separates them that keeps it from uh, rolling inside of your handle so that when you spin it, the whole thing spins. And if you look at this, it's not that easy to push back in. Um, the way I push these in is I push it down on my table and then pull it out. You can push it in, but it's not It's not all of them are super easy to push in, which is actually a benefit because um, if it pushed in too easy, it might not be as easy to control. That's the 3 sixteenths. Okay, the next size is the 5 32nd, just like any other paper bead roller. Same split pin and same length, three inch See how it spreads a little bit? Not all of them are like this. Some of them do actually look like this. And that's the nature of these pins. It's made with cotter pin wire, and I do my best to straighten them out as straight as possible. Again, these are handmade, cut off of a coil of wire. In the future, I'm wor working on ordering the pins already cut and straight. Uh, my next batches will be made with the new ones. And then these will be, when you push them in, again, they'll, they're supposed to be about an inch and a quarter long. Some will be an inch, some will be an inch and a half. And these caps on these are made of silicone. And I made, you know, they're all the same color, the, the clear. The handles are the different colors, according to size. And in the future, I may change the color of the handles, but for now, this is what I've got. 
and uh, the silicone. Um, to keep these clean, you just wipe them with a damp cloth. Um, I actually use uh, the glass lens clean cleaning wipes. Um, that works really, really well. And just you don't want to soak these in water because, to be honest with you, the design is actually paper coating on a plastic tube that's on the inside. Um, it's sticker paper that I used to print those and put them on there to make them decorative. And they actually have the size on them wrapped around the outside, actually on the um, paper itself, the sticker paper. So it says 532nd inch number four, because that's the number four size. And then the next size that you get is the eighth inch. And this comes with two beads. Two beads that I actually make out of the same paper as I use for the handle. Again, this has the size number three, three, um, one eighth. And those are already printed on the paper that I print out on my own computer, on my own printer. Again, with the same silicone cap. It's the same silicone cap for all of them. I just punch a hole in them in the top to fit each pin. And these be beads are stabilizer beads. And once this is pulled out to use them, and you push one bead to the top, that kind of locks it in. And again, it's one of those things where it'll stay until you actually push it in. So you pull it out. The three bigger sizes are good for that. They'll basically, you actually have to push them in for them to go in um, and pull them out. And they'll stay wherever you put them, the three bigger sizes especially. And you take one bead off, you slip your paper in, and then you put the bead on up to where the paper is and start rolling. Okay, and then to push this back in completely, pull your beads forward almost to the top and push it in. And, and then push your beads to the cap. Okay, the next size, <coughs> excuse me, is it's green and it is the 332nd number two. And these have two large plastic faceted, faceted beads. You can buy these almost anywhere. They're just those basic craft beads that you see around. And in the future, I'm going to actually be making the beads out of the green paper that I use for this. And so that, that way the, the beads themselves will be a little bit smaller. They'll be designed for this particular bead roller. These are actually kind of expensive to buy. And making them is a good thing to do at night, you know, in front of Netflix or, or whatever. And again, this one, this particular one is somewhat hard to pull out also, but not super hard. And again, you pull it out and it stays put until you actually push it back in. And the stabilizer beads are there. You push one of them up against the cap that locks it in place. Take the other one off, slip your paper in, and then you put your bead on. And the, the stabilizer beads stabilizes the pins so that they stay together so that you can roll the paper. All right, then you push that back out, push the whole thing back in, and put it away. And then the smallest size is the 564th inch. I will never make a 16th inch. It's just not going to happen, so don't ask for them. And, <laughs> and the 564th inch are made with 564th inch cotter pin wire. And these... um. By this time, they are made with pins that I buy already cut and straight. Um, I used to get them on a coil, but they're kind of hard to straighten out. And uh, this way, there's no waste. And they're the length that I need them to be. And again, they've got the clear silicone cap. The, the label is made the same way as the others. And this one happens to be a pink color. And it says 564 number number 1. And it has two of those plastic beads. Who knows, maybe in the future I will start making them with the same paper like the eighth inch. But for now, I have plenty of these. And so the future sets that go out will have these pink beads. And those are the paper, the new adjustable length paper bead rollers. And let me demonstrate one for you. I've got some pre-cut strips here that I've got. These pre-cut strips are going to be available 
on my Etsy shop in the near future. They're not available yet. I still have to take pictures of them and get them up. Um, but basically it's 130 strips in a bundle and up to three, uh, three copies or three pieces of the same print. I don't know how many prints, I didn't count them. Um, but it was a whole bundle, a whole pad of um, that I decided to cut up into strips. And they're about 5 eighths of an inch at one end and about an eighth inch at the other end. This particular stack didn't muster, you know, being packaged for sale. But when you do get them, they'll be like this. They're eighth inch at the narrow end, 5 eighths inch at the wide end, and they're packaged like this. You get 130 strips, one to three of each print. And uh, some of them really only have one strip of a given print. It's just a random, it's a random book. Um, the colors are basically indicative of the, the for different seasons and the holidays throughout the year. That's what the pad of paper was. Believe it or not, to be honest with you, I've had this pad of paper for several years. It was collecting dust and I decided I'll go ahead and I'll cut them into strips and sell them. So. Look for them in my Etsy shop. Go ahead and, so, and favorite my Etsy shops so that you'll be notified when I add new stuff. And the next things I do add to the Etsy shop will be these strips. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the adjustable paper bead rollers. And let me get my little tray here and my glue and my toothpick. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the 564th. And I'm not going to bother demonstrating the rest because they all work the same way. And what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and grab one with plaid. All right. Any white glue will do. I'm demonstrating the paper bead roller. <laughs> not how to roll paper beads. So, all right, so I'm going to keep my one bead on there and I'm going to pull out a little bit, even though I don't really have to. And I'm going to put my paper between these two pins. Now, these particular pins on this particular roller are not 100% perfectly straight, but it will still work. That's what the stabilizer beads are for. All right, and this strip is not good. That's another reason why I didn't make it into my set of strips that I'm going to sell. And I've made lots of beads with this particular. If you have a hard time, pull the bead away from the thing, away from the silicone cap. That loosens it up a little bit. Then you can push it back in, then push it up, then pull your paper next to it, put your other bead on, and pull it up. Pull your paper, <clears throat> just like with the other split pin paper bead rollers, pull your paper so that you can barely see the edge of the paper sticking out of the metal. Push your paper bead or your plastic bead up, start rolling. And I personally do not glue my ends down until the very end, or my paper down. And I just go ahead and I roll, roll, roll. They all work the same way. And on the Amazon shop, they're going to be available. They are available in sets of five, sets of three, and individually. So if you are not sure if you want to get these, um, if I if I were you and you wanted to buy just one of them, uh, the size to get would be like the eighth inch or actually the 532nd inch, or even the three six, the 532nd inch. Well, the set, the set of three has the 564th, the 8th inch, and the 332nd inch. The set of five has all five, of course. So you can, if you wanted to, you could get the 532nd or the 316th by themselves. If you like the bead rollers and you want the rest of them, go ahead and get the set of three and then just later on get the, the fifth one. Okay, so that's how you roll up your, um, how do you use that? Take the bead off, 
and then pull this away a little bit, grab a hold of the pin, and, and wiggle it a little bit and pull it off. You want to grab a hold of the pin. Even though I say it's somewhat hard to pull out, like I said, these are handmade paper bead rollers, so not all of them are going to be super tight inside. So you're going to want to make sure that you hold on to the pin when you pull it out. Because the less, the few times that you actually pull on it all the way, you could damage the little wire that's in there and break it. So you want to be gentle with it. Grab a hold of the pin when you pull it off. And that is mentioned in the instructions. That's very important. And then when you're done, just push it back in. If you're When you're done making your beads, of course. And then put the other bead on it to put it away. And there's your bead. And then with these particular beads, or this particular type of bead roller, you're going to have a little piece of paper that is halfway in the middle here that's not turned all the way in there or not you know it's the, the hole's not clear so you just want to put a toothpick in and run it in there if you have a needle tool you can you can use a needle tool as well but I use a toothpick because it works just fine on the 532nd most of the time <laughs> I do have a needle tool here somewhere uh, let's see here it is. Usually I put the needle tool in and run it on my finger like this. That's how I use, how I do all of the uh, split pin paper bead roller beads anyway, is you put the pin tool in and open it up. Okay, so that's it. You use all of the paper bead rollers the same way and uh, they're, you know, I told you all about them. Again, they're available. Go to paperbeadcrafts.com. The link will be provided in the, in the description. And uh, you can go to Amazon and Etsy from there to order. And also you can pay for, through PayPal if you wanted to. I have free shipping on the sets of five on these, as well as the slotted paper bead rollers I offer. And I believe the set of four double hole paper bead rollers that I offer. Um, in the future, the 16th inch double hole paper bead roller is going to be discontinued because I can no longer get the 1 16th inch dowel pins that I use to make them. So they will be sizes 564, 332, and 8th inch in the future. Sets of three at that time will be also free shipping. And that is it for today. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Please share it with everybody you know. And until next time, thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.